Skytree thread and started chanting a Skytree. So all the other big brahmins in the room put out their Skytree threads and sat there like this. And then after a very short time, Prabhupada finished chanting his Gayatri. <laughs> Everyone else still had their, you know, sacred thread hooked around their thumbs. So <laughs> Prabhupada reached into this bowl of these spiced rice bowls, picked up a little bit and handed it to the nearest Brahman, <laughs> who still had his thumb hooked around his Gayatri thread. <laughs> and what a dilemma. So all the devotees immediately stopped chanting their Gayatri, put their hands out and accepted what Prabhupada was offering them. <laughs> uh, I've later found out from Shruti Kirti's book, uh, this was a fairly common occurrence, that uh, Prabhupada chanted his Gayatri very quickly. So um, one by one the devotees got up and left the room and I was still sitting there alone with Prabhupada. And um, he asked me what my service is. I said, Prabhupada, I, I do cooking and uh, deity worship. He said, oh, that is very nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the things I think the devotees really appreciate, and I talk about it a lot, is, you know, it's seeing how we're hearing how Prabhupada lived, that, you know, we all need to see and know how Prabhupada practiced Krishna consciousness. And taking prasadam was, to me, was just such a, a wonderful activity, the way he did it. You can see he always took prasadam alone 99% of the time. And if there was someone who was in the room and I would bring him prasadam, you know, he would just very graciously, he would take off a piece of fruit or two or three for whoever was there, or a little sweet, and just give them a little something and say, okay, Hare Krishna, and send them on their way. And then he would sit there and he would just honor Prashadam. You know, he did it very calmly and peacefully and never in a rushed way, never talking about different things, but he, he relished Prashadam. It was such a nice thing to see. There's another thing we do, especially as, as Westerners, you know, we can turn taking prasadam into meeting times and just socializing times with other devotees, just carelessly, you know, talking about whatever and uh, really not get into the significance of honoring prasadam, mercy from Krishna. You could see with Prabhupada, he took it in that way. You could just feel, you know, he was honoring Krishna in the form of his prasadam. So wherever he was, prasadam he was ready to have right around noontime. And as he traveled and the time changes, he would just immediately adapt. There was no adjustment periods for Prabhupada. Never talk.